Hey, this is Mike. I'm here at Grand Strand Nissan in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and I'm checking out a 2015 Nissan 370Z at night. No, well, it's not actually at night, but I do um, have access to a dark room so we can check out the lights so we, so we can see what it looks like at night. So right now, I have the parking lights on. As you can see, it has a light there and a light there. Let's take a look at the back. We've got a whole series of LEDs illuminating the tail lights. Has a very distinct look. All right, let's take a look at the headlights. All right, turning on the headlights, you can see that um, I think it's either a it's a HID is what it looks like, or a um, an LED. I'll have to check into that. I think it is a an HID headlight on this vehicle, um, the way they look. Now they do have the projector tube there. Take a look like here in the front. Now you'll notice that there, it is focused on the low beams is focused with a line. You can see that line there um, right here to where the, the majority of the light stays on the road and it's not in the other driver's you know eyes. Um, so that's a good safety feature and it gives you the ability to see um, at a good uh, all the light where you need it really. So let's go ahead and turn on the high beam so we can see what it looks like. Let's see here. There's the high beams right there. So you notice it does have more of a flood uh, look to it, and it, it raises that that bar there, um, that line where the light uh, shines. So that way you can get a, a greater distance um, with the uh, headlights. Now you can see that there's no additional light that, that turned on, um, but the, the projectors have the ability to re refocus basically. an idea of what it looks like there. So let me go ahead and turn the turn signal on so we can see what that looks like. You see right there. Very well illuminated at the, at the top there above the headlight. Also you have the side marker with the letter Z in the middle of it which is pretty awesome. And let's take a look here in the back. Very adequate, I, I believe, as far as uh, visibility um, on the side, the back, and the front. All right, so I'm going to turn off the headlights now, and we're going to look into uh, the trunk here. All right, so let's look in the trunk and see what kind of illumination we have back here. And we do have a uh, what appears to be a single light uh, here. Let me get a different angle here so you can see. There is a single light there that's illuminate the back, and um, so you are able. It is a pretty bright light, so it's able to illuminate most of the the trunk very well. And of course, it's not very deep trunk. So um, now, if you do have something sitting in here, it might cast a shadow on the left side. But um, you know, there's the illumination there. All right. So looking here at the door. Uh, we do have some backlit bu buttons there uh, for your power windows, your door locks, and stuff like that. And um, also, man, this has got this has a like a baseball glove uh, suede leather interior. It smells like a fresh, brand new baseball glove, and it looks amazing. But anyways, you can see that the interior is well lit, and um, with the interior light, lights right there in the center dome. And uh, let me go ahead and step in here. Oh yeah, such an awesome vehicle. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start it up. All right, so now your headlights is on. and Here's the running lights, the daytime running lights there at the bottom. There are a series of four LEDs, vertically positioned. 
and they really stand out on the road so that way you'll get noticed and hopefully people will not run into you. You see the daytime running lights uh, do give you some illumination even with the headlights off. Um, so there's the running lights, there's the headlights, there's the eye beams. So there we go. So looking at the inside, I'm going to roll the window up and let me go ahead and turn on the lights so the interior lights will turn on. Turn the air conditioner on a little bit because it is getting pretty warm today. All right, so looking at the steering wheel, we do have some backlit buttons for the power, the, um, the, the, the radio and the volume. Also, the cruise control is, uh, is backlit on this side. Your gauges, very easy to read, sporty looking, um, really cool look. Everything's backlit. I like that. Then you got your gauges up there. Your big your screen there is now on night mode. You notice the the background is black instead of white, and then your roads are actually um, white. And the interior looks like Tron with all the backlights. Your heated seat buttons are there. There's your cup holder. Um, it does have an ambient light up here that kind of casts a little bit of light here in the center of the um, the vehicle. I'm going to put the night vision on just so you can get some context of what I'm looking at. There's no uh, no illumination in the floorboards. There's no ambient light on the doors. Um, and let's see, let's look in here. Alright, so the center console lifts up and there's no light in there. Um, it's pretty dark. Alright, so basically, you know, you do have some ambient light here. Um, and of course you can always turn the light on if you need you know interior lights you got those lights there um, you also have the mirrors with the lights like so awesome awesome vehicle okay let's take a look at um, what it looks like when it's the brake lights and the backing up pack backup lights All right, there you have it. 2015 Nissan 370Z at Grand Strand Nissan at night, or close to it, close to it at night as I can get. Anyways, if you have any experience with this vehicle, let me know in the comments. Um, if you have any questions or anything, of course, leave it in the comments. I'd be trying my best to answer um, questions as much as possible. And um, you know, thank you, Victor here at Grand Strand Nissan for allowing me to check out these vehicles and show them to all you. I do not work for Grand Strand Nissan, I work for you. So I really appreciate your support. Thank you for watching, see you next time.